Alright, we are still making a lot of money off of sausage eggs. Research complete, you've successfully researched game tutorials. Good. Create custom engine. Uh, we're gonna get everything that we can possibly imagine in this engine. A 150k engine. Uh, of course, the engine must be named the real deal. Mark 1. Great engine. We are making the real deal. Mach 1, of course, and it's perfect. You are now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. New research available casual games. Casual games I already discussed with might it's probably gonna suck on the PC. Sausage Links is off the market. It sold 16,909 units, generating 100,000, 18, 384 in sales. Holy frick. Recent market data shows the Ga Gavador G64 seems to slowly losing market share against their other PC manufacturers. Oh, take that! In an unofficial statement, the G a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Motherfucker, you just got schooled. Okay. Put my Wi Fi card back up here. Wi Fi disconnects, that might not be good. I don't know. I actually I do. It's fine if Wi Fi Wi Fi disconnects, but I just don't want it to. Trouble of putting it back on. 100k engine. You invest over 100k in a new engine. Your game engine called the Real Deal Mach 1 is now complete. Congratulations, your first game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. No dip. Uh, pick a topic. Should we go back to the post-apocalyptic? Uh, I think we will. Post-apocalyptic. Action. We can now rate it M. We are familiar with this type. It's a sim. Sorry. The real damn walk one. It is a sequel to. What was it called? RAR. So we're gonna call this one. Yeah. 2D graphics version 2. We're gonna go balls out on this one. Today, Nintendo has announced that they will be introduced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the Game Link. The device comes with changeable game cartridges on monochrome screen, a ground, a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Game Link is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The Game Link is said to hit shelves next month, and so. The revolution begins. Story and quest for action is bullcrap. So we don't even want a linear story. We want engine and gameplay though. Engine or gameplay up? I think it's gameplay. We'll go for it. Alright. Dialogues? Thank god. I don't know. We'll keep it there. Because I remember in the last one, AI was supposed to be way up there. So I'm guessing we'll not be the same for action. Uh, action? I think it's world design down, sound up. Mono sound too. I'm probably totally wrong here. And the sequel to RAR... So sorry, to, uh, it's gonna be a huge flop. Uh, but today, the new game platform by GameLink by Nintendo has been released. Let's go finish. Holy crap, we reached one frick of a record on design and technology. Two new records: gameplay, level design, and graphics have leveled up. Um, the one generating the most dough was um, level design. So, good job level design. Now, 2D graphics version 2 uh, was actually up there. But whatever. 
Susan just need a cue, needs like one little push. And then she'll be drinking from one of the nectars of the gods. New research available. You better use your experience. Level editor. Oh crap, level editor. I love games with a level editor. So cool. Go. The first reviews for a newly released game came in. <laughs> yes! Ten! 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 You fricker! Oh, we almost got an average of ten! That would have been amazing. Thanks, all games. Fricker. Hate you. Let's see what the first week brings us. Holy crap. Sorry. Grrr has achieved company a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold in the first week. Holy crap. This is an important milestone in the history of pixelated gems. Don't scratch your head. Work, lady. Still gotta get to it. Oh, crap. We're at 1.2 million. <laughs> Grrr has achieved a company sales record with over 1,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of pixelated gems. New office. Congratulations. You made quite a name of yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to move to to grow the company further by moving into a new office is the next step. Found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? I would love to. Look at this. I'll go to see your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and uh, f and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try it by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Let's wait for her to finish. Our post-release analysis of uh, is complete. Yeah, that's it. Graphics is very important. Uh, we're going to research you. Sorry, no, we gotta train you. That's right. We gotta train you in staff management. The latest game by Pixelated Gems has received positive reviews overall. Star Games giving it a 10, saying awesome. If Pixelated Gems continue to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. We have 3,000 fans, so. Oh my god, I keep hitting the mic. This is the time where we wait. Growing interest in video games, there is a growing audience for video game magazines. And these magazines offer a great way for game developers to market their upcoming games. The research available marketing. We're gonna go on a research spree, by the way. It's still ranked two! Uh, holy frick. Well done, you successfully completed your management course and are now able to hire a very source employee. You get started, close this message, and yeah, I don't want to fill a position now. Before you have to hire somebody you could advertise to. You have to advertise to open the position and set up an advertising budget to decide how you want your applicants. A high budget will increase the number of applicants and the different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and technology skills. I don't know. Show reel. We'll go with show reel. Uh, make this a a 50k search budget. Go for it. We're not gonna waste a lot of money on this. It seems that Pixelated Gems has recently moved in to a new an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Gr and Tap Tap Slap, has reportedly operated out of the garage until now. One of the many fans of Gr commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now, and those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Yeah. Grrr is now off the market. It sold 300,378 258,258 units, generating 2,647,813 sales. Holy crap. Uh, the search position is now. The search for. An open position is now complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. 
Ida Jenkins or Sean Parsons. Parsons. Uh, 8k per month. Speed 290. Research 149. Level 1. That's 9k per month, but her speed is superior by 4, and her research is superior by 20. Uh, she seems to be more well rounded, and I think we can do it. Only 9,000? It's pretty cheap, actually. We'll go for it. Ida Jenkins, uh, you're hired. Congratulations on the first hire. New employees have to settle in before they can become fully effective. When the character is not fully efficient, you see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally to close this message. And then click on the character to bring up the action menu. Re new research available. Medium games. Alright. Welcome staff training. Why is it $10,000? Uh, if you're gonna research something, actually. A new topic. Uh, history. We're gonna go on a new topic spree. Alright. Don't scratch your head, ladies. We have to get you working. Because a new name has to come out. Vina, the creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vina Gear, a portable console to direct to directly c compete against the game link from Ninvento. This is perfect. All right. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles on the Vina Gear which don't come close to gaming consoles. The Vena Gear is basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. That's right. Will this topple the game wing? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. You're gonna research something too, baby. I didn't say baby, I meant lady, but whatever. Sci-fi, we could definitely make something cool with sci-fi. I'm looking for dungeon, because I want to make an RPG. Rhythm. Uh, martial arts. We'll research that. Research those two, and then I think this is where we'll leave off. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content or new to the channel, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, I would love to see you guys over at my Instagram. Uh, yeah, it's titled the one with a lot of random letters in it. But I will hope to get to see you guys uh, next week with some more SimCity. Tell me how long you want SimCity to be as well, because I will stop any time you guys want me to stop. But I won't do it because of freaking... Oh my god, you're so horrible, I guess I hate you. No, I just love playing the game. Gosh, you're such a douchebag. So, today in a new game platform by Vina Gear by Vina has been released. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. El V and El Chi.